So in this video, I'm going to be talking you through BuyBot Wholesale, which is one of the biggest parts of BuyBot Pro. If you have any wholesale sheets, so when you um, sign up to a wholesale supplier, sometimes you can download sheets from the website or they might send them to you or, uh, you know, you might have to request them and they'll give them to you. Then either way, if you have some wholesale sheets um, without any software like this, without this kind of feature, then what you'd be doing is trying to analyze each thing on that sheet individually. And I'm sure you know that takes a very, very, very long time. Um, so BuyBot Wholesale allows you to upload the entirety of the sheet and analyze everything in it. And you get a list of, an, of analysis results. So you can then cherry pick what exactly it is that you want to get from the wholesale supplier. So it's very easy to use. All you need to do is tap import XLSX or CSV. And it's got to be one of those two file types. So I've just uploaded a sheet now. Now, please bear in mind that every aspect of the column mapping section, all of the options that you have here are completely 100% dependent on what you have in your sheet. So if you don't have, um, you know, things like a, a barcode, for example, some form of identifying code, then it's going to be really hard to analyze the sheet because the things that don't have optional next to them uh, need to be part of the mapping. Otherwise, you can't use the, the function very well at all. So some of the essentials are things like the product code, buy price, um, and that's those are the two main things, but also the marketplace that you're analyzing, and that's quite important. So you can give your wholesale sheet a name. So uh, let's just go for uh, that. I'll just give this this name a product code. Um, so it's very easy to map. You just read what's here in the uploaded file and choose that in the options here. So this would be a uh, barcode. Buy price is going to be the price per unit. The marketplace is .co.uk. Um, feel free to ignore this part right here. Um, unless it has like a sub aspect of the marketplace in the sheet, in which case you can use that. But as long as you've got this marketplace here, you're all good. Um, this is the remaining task row limit. So currently at the time of recording this, you can only uh, have 5,000 items analyzed um, per day. So if you use it 5,000 today, you can do 5,000 again tomorrow. If it's a sheet with say like 10,000, you're probably best splitting it in half and uploading one segment today and then the next segment tomorrow. Uh, we've got a title there. So title, we haven't got a sale price in here, but that's all right. Um, and then the VAT rate. Now this is one um, that's completely up to you if you want it there or not. So if you leave it at zero, the price is in there will be exclusive of VAT. So if you want to work it out that way, you can. But if you want by what program to work out the VAT on top of the VAT exclusive prices, then you've got a VAT inclusive price. Then you just add on the standard VAT rate. So in this case, 20%. So it's up to you what you want to do with that. So it's kind of like similar to if you're using the retail or wholesale toggle over in the extension or web view. Um, so then let's tap preview file and it will tell you which rows are valid and which ones are invalid. Now, invalid rows will be due to some information that's incorrect or missing. So for example, this one right here, it says invalid product code. And that's because, look, it just doesn't have a barcode. So it, it's not going to work. So um, we just check what's valid, invalid. If we're happy, then let's go ahead and save and send to queue. So what will happen is um, we get a notification there and it's going to be processing. Uh, and when it's ready, we'll see the status in here. And we will also get a notification email as well when it has done um, with processing. Now, we can see that status right here. Um, but obviously, while that's doing its thing, let's go on to a sheet that I've already completed. So this one right here, open that up. And this is what it looks like when you have completed your um, analysis. So this is actually the basic analysis page. So you just get some basic info about each item, including things like profit, ROI, buy and sell price, a keeper chart, um, and then there's some basic information about the item. Now, what you can also do, and this will count for the detailed analysis page as well, is you can search for a certain item. You can um, you know, sort in various ways as well. There's also some advanced filters, so you can set a minimum profit ROI, buy price, sell price, break even, and buy bot pro score. And you can set a maximum as well if you want to. So you can really specify what exactly you want. 
And then you can choose if you want to include oversize, mountable and private label um, items as well. So it's completely up to you how you configure that. Um, and then that will make it really easy to cherry pick what exactly it is that you're looking for. There's also some sort options as well when you tap on the title. So you can do, um, say, the profit from uh, highest to lowest and look through things that way. What you can also do is tap this plus icon right here, save for detailed analysis, and that gets sent through to the detailed analysis section. So this one's currently processing, but this is one that we've already done. So you get a lot more information on here, including things like the alerts, um, some averages, and you can actually customize what exactly it is that you want to see in the detailed analysis section. So you've got all of that right there and you can really, you know, very quickly establish what it is that you want from the wholesale supplier through using um, this feature. And if you want to download the results and you can do using this button right here.